Welcome to Shrewsbury Town Football Club. On match days, 10,000 people sit here. Imagine more than four football stadiums, 44,000 people. That's the number of people who die every year from sepsis in the United Kingdom. Sepsis is an overwhelming inflammation and infection that affects the whole body. Too many people die of sepsis in the United Kingdom. It could be me. It could be you. It was my dad. It's because of cases like that that our relationship with the Virginia Mason Institute has been so important to our organisation and the patients that we serve. The diagnosis of sepsis is a complex area and it's really important that our patients are identified at the earliest point in arriving at the hospital. That then needs to be followed up by the delivery of the treatment bundle within 60 minutes of that arrival. These two areas are absolutely crucial in terms of the delivery of safe care for patients with sepsis. The power of this process is that it's led by the staff, releasing them from their clinical duties in order that they can come up with the solutions themselves and implement them with the teams in the various clinical environments where sepsis patients can present. What we're seeing is all these great ideas are coming from the shop floor. The examples of the ideas that they've had are to create trolleys, attaching drip stands, ensuring that the amount of walking that they're doing that minimises the opportunities for errors are being reduced. Simple, what might appear to be obvious solutions, this is the power of the process and it in inevitably will save lives. The process that we're undertaking in our partnership with Virginia Mason Institute is to transform care by um, observing the care that happens in real time on the wards for several weeks and then describing that in various tools to the staff. So what we've been able to do is run rapid process improvement weeks, which are workshops that allow the staff protected time to generate ideas, to test them, and then to implement those that really work, and they then become the standard work for us. They were able to reduce the sepsis um, process from over seven hours down to um, under two hours and delivering all the six elements of the sepsis bundle well within the recommended hour. In fact, they did it in 23 minutes. It costs less because we're not overstocking, making mistakes, having things done in a timely manner or having to repeat processes. Um, and it's also about the patient experience and the staff experience. So you've got those service elements, those financial elements, but also importantly, safety, quality and experience. As a result of this, Rapid Process Improvement Workshop, we have developed many tools to help the septic patient, including the Decision Referral Tool, the Ward Clerk Tool, and also the Education Booklets for Staff. Also being developed is a sepsis trolley to provide safe and effective treatment to the septic patient. As a result of this process, it has become easier for staff to spot the subtle signs of sepsis. For example, the increasing temperature, the increasing heart rate, and all these symptoms combined can result in sepsis. And it's much easier now for staff to spot those and act on them quickly. That means that every patient will receive a standardised care throughout the hospital and they will be treated for sepsis in a more timely fashion, which can potentially save their life. My dad, unfortunately, has had sepsis four times. Fortunately, he's one of the lucky people that is still here today. Thanks to the hospital, the staff and the nurses in Shrewsbury, he did go on to make a full recovery, but it could have been a lot worse. Myself, the board and the executive, plus all the senior leadership team, are utterly committed to this process. This is the work and this is going to make a difference and create a safer environment for all of our staff and the patients that we serve. Being involved in this process, there's a lot of work involved, but it has made me feel empowered in my role as a nurse, that my ideas and the ideas of all my colleagues will be heard and will be acted upon. Sepsis can kill. Sepsis kills more patients than breast cancer, bowel cancer and prostate cancer combined. We really didn't think Dad was going to make it and I really did think that that was going to be the end. These improvements are just what we need.